All right, Shalom, Israel, Shalom, Shalom. You know, first and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, who the world calls God. Bahashem just means in the name of Yahweh Shah, is who the world calls Jesus Christ. His name in the Paleo Hebrew is Yahweh Shah. Right, so you see, I got a little, you know, mic set up. Lord willing, soon um, I can actually start doing podcasts if it's at the most I will, man. Um, you know, people came to me saying, you know, you should do podcasts, this and that. So that's something I'm going to pray on. And, you know, Lord willing, if, mo if it's at the most I will, I can just do podcasts. I don't know what I'm going to do it on or how I'm going to do it, but the most high got me. So I just want to try to little set up, but, you know, this is my real setup because, you know, she do podcasts. So this is her little setup. So I decided I'll try to do it, you know, just to get, get the feel of it, the microphone and things of that nature. So today's um video is going to be um not very long, but it's something that I want to touch on because, you know, especially in school, I know I was taught this and I know a lot of brothers and sisters also um, in history class was taught this as well that, you know, Africans were selling Africans. You know, that's what they told us in school, you know, when you when you basically get on to the white people, you know, for selling us, they'll always be like, well, you, well your people are selling their own people, so you can't get mad at us. Why are you talking about us selling y'all when you y'all people sold y'all own people? It, it was plenty of times I heard that, um, heard that again brought up. It got brought up to me a couple of times in school because I, I was coming into, I came into the truth, I was hearing about the truth in high school like 10th grade so you know that that zeal you're trying to tell everybody i'm talking about i'm at the table like i'm at the table in, in the lunchroom people surround around me heathens are surrounded around me israelites surround around me i'm telling them like, with israelites you know what i'm saying they, i'm bringing up christ a black man bringing revelation 1 to 14 1 to 15 out bringing out how they, how they put us in slavery and they will always say your people were selling your own. Your, your people were selling their own people. Africans were selling Africans. That's what you know. The school system. That's that's what the school system teaches. But I'm gonna break this down so we can have a better understanding on who was getting sold. Was Africans really selling Africans? Was Africans really selling their own people? Just think about you in this example and you in this situation. Would you sell your own people? Just think about that. Was Africans going around here just selling their own people to the so-called white man? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. And a lot of these Africans, um, there's plenty of videos that I've seen of Africans, you know, saying that we're not the same people. You know, Africans, you got Africans, you got so-called African-Americans, as, as they would say. Um, we not Africans. You know, we, we are not Africans. I'm going to show you that Africans come from... Um, the seed of Ham, you know, Noah had three sons, Ham, Shem, and Japheth. The Africans, they are Hamanic, 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 it's like it, Hamanic, sound crazy, but we are Shemitic, we come from Shem, they come from Ham, so um, Shem was the chosen seed, you know, Shem was the chosen, let me actually get that to prove that. Hermetic. Hermetic. They come from Ham. Um, Hermetic. Uh, let me get that. Genesis 9 to 26. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem. And Canaan shall be his servant. So it said, blessed be the Lord God of Shem. It didn't say, blessed be the Lord God of Ham. It said, blessed be the Lord God of Shem. Because Shem, you know, that's what that's where we come from. You know what I'm saying? They say we anti-Semitic. We can't, we can't, we can't be, you know, you know, you have brothers coming out saying something against the fake Jews, right? And then they be like, oh, you being anti-Semitic. We can't be anti-Semitic because we come from Shem. We come from the seed line of Shem. You know, so so-called African Americans, we would come from Shem, but the so-called Africans, the, I'm talking about the, cause we know that we have a lot, a lot of our brothers and sisters that scattered still around Africa. It's, a, it's, it's Israelites still in Africa that just don't know they're Israelites, so they they call themselves um, uh, under these African tribes. But 
even in Americas too, you know, they, they people think they're African, but a lot of these so-called Africans that call themselves Africans, a lot of them are Israelites and they just don't know it. Just like we don't know that we Israelites, we think we're African American. So I'm talking about those Africans, those real blood Africans. And we know you can just look at Africans and look at us. You know what I'm saying? Just the customs of how, the, how they how they do things when they have the rings and that, that, those big old, like just watch Black Panther. They have those big old rings in their mouth. Um, you know, they uh have they they, they 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 don't really grow beards. Um, I seen a video. They they put their head under uh a cow and the cow pee on them. You know, they get peed on things like that. Um, we we just we are completely different people. You know, just look at African African Americans, the culture, the things that we do. You know, we 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 are um we are a completely different nation of people. But we've been taught in the school that we the same people because we are a dark race of people. But you look at Chinese people and Japanese people, they look they kind of look similar. Kind of look similar, but they're not the same people. If you call a Chinese person a Japanese person, he's gonna be like, no, I'm not Chinese, I'm Japanese. But they kind of they look similar though. But same thing with us and um Africans. We got dark skin, may have big noses, big lips, but we are different people. We are not the same people. You heard that saying, every kith, every um um, I might butch. What do you say? Um, every skin folk ain't kin folk. Every skin folk. Did I say that right? Every kin folk. Every skin folk. Something like that. Every skin folk ain't kin folk. Basically, you know, you got a person that got the skin. Y'all got the same color skin, but y'all ain't the same people. So let me pull this out the Bible. The Lord separated us, man. And Africans know that, man. If you get, if you talk to a real life African. They'll tell you that they people didn't come over here in slavery. Africans didn't go into slavery. They came over here by a plane. You know what I'm saying? No, they, they ancestors didn't come over here by force. They'll tell you that. They'll, they'll, they'll tell you that, you know, um, that they people sold us into slavery. They, were, they, they learned that. It's a video. I can't remember. I, can't, I don't know where it's said. It's plenty of videos, man. Um, they know they, they get taught those things in Africa. An African basically um basically said that they get taught the real history in Africa. They get taught that they people sold us into slavery. But we come to America, we don't get taught that they the Africans sold us into slavery. We get taught that our that our our people sold our people into slavery. They just they mess with the history basically. That's just like it won't be no difference if they wrote just say the they said a white man put the Chinese people in um in slavery in America. It wouldn't be no different if they wrote history in today's time and they say Americans were selling Americans in slavery. You can't say that because them two, them two different nations of people. You can't say Americans were selling Americans during in slavery because they two different nations of people. You got to say um, Europeans were selling Chinese people in slavery in, in America. You had to justify it because those two different nations of people. The same thing with us and Africans. You can't say... Africans were selling Africans into slavery because those those are little, those are two different nations of people. You got to be you got to be specific. Africans were selling Israelites into slavery to the white man. That's what you got. That's how you got to say it to justify to be more specific so people understand what you're talking about. Exodus eleven and seven. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast. Uh, that you may know that the Lord does put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. So the Bible telling you, man, he basically called him a dog also in this verse. And that, that hint is go, that hint go back to the Canaanite woman when, when Christ called her a dog. So I'm, I'm going to get that scripture. And it's a reason why, because we're not the same people. But, um, yeah, he said, um, you may know that the Lord does put a difference between the Egyptian and Israel. So the Egyptian would have been so-called Africans, and Israel is us. And the Bible said the Most High God put a difference between us. That's why when y'all, when you see those paintings, when you see those paintings of uh, ancient Egypt, and you see, you see, the slave masters in ancient Egypt are so-called black, and the slaves are also so-called black. You know, you got the slave walking around like this. You got the uh, the Egyptians with the little hat, with their little things on their head, with a whip on their hand. So who they who are they whooping? Both of the both both are the, both of the people are dark skinned race of people, the slaves and the slave master in ancient, in ancient Egypt. So 
who are these? Who are uh, who? What's going? Who are the other people? Who who is these people? The Egyptians were the so-called Africans, and the people that was in slavery were our people. So you gotta think, a so-called African American. Think about this. We built the pyramids. We was in slavery in ancient Egypt. A lot of our people would rather say they Egyptians than they Israelites because Egypt, Egypt goes back to think people think about gold and riches and things like that. So that's why they really want to be Egyptians because they don't. That's what they think about, but they don't really think about you know their people being Israelites. And Joseph, Joseph was an Israelite. Joseph was an Israelite, but yet he was sick under Pharaoh. You know what I'm saying? So we still prosper and have history in Egypt. Also. As, Although we were slaves. But if we had, the Bible say you put a difference between us, man. That's why you see what people is dominating sports. You don't really see Africans dominating nothing. But you see so-called African-Americans. You know what I'm saying? And let me get this, let me get this right here. Let me get this, let me get this right here in the Zondervan um, Compact Bible Dictionary. Y'all can also look it up. I know a lot of people really don't, well, that's people that's not in the truth. They probably don't have the uh, Zondervan Bible Dictionary. But... You can look it up on your phone. Type in Ham, Zunderbin Bible Dictionary. And when you type that in, it should come up uh, Zunderbin Compact Bible Dictionary, Ham, not the Negroes. You can click on that link and you can read it. This is the same definition that's in the book. Zunderbin Compact Bible Dictionary. Ham, it's going to tell you about Ham. The youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood. And one of the eight persons to live through through the flood. He became the progenitor of the dark races. Not the Negroes. But the Egyptians, Ethiopians, Libyans, and Canaanites. So I want, I want y'all to think about what I just read, man. This is a scholar. A scholar literally wrote, you know, had to be able to have information to be able to come up with a, a, a Bible dictionary. He said, let me reread this again. Ham. The youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one of eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor of the dark races. So Ham was the progenitor of the dark races. But hold up, not the Negroes. So why did it say, we are dark race of people though. So why did it say Ham became the progenitor of the dark races, but not the Negroes? Why did he say this? Because we're not Africans. They know this. The, the scholar that wrote this Bible dictionary, he got understanding. He know that these so-called African Americans that was brought on the transatlantic slave trade are the same exact people that uh, served captivity in ancient Egypt. They understand these so-called the Bible, the person that wrote this book, but uh, the dictionary understands that these so-called African Americans are not Africans. They two completely different people. They got two different completely. They got two different scores. I, I can't remember a video. I heard. A, I watched a video of a, a scientist. He had basically looked into the so-called African American heads and the so-called um, African heads. They scores are two complete. They 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 completely different. They got two completely different scores. They not. The, we are not the same. We are not Africans, man. You know, we was only we just been we just been taught those things, so we won't find out that we Israelites. But like I said before, I, I, Africans would tell you. It's plenty of videos you probably can look up right now of Africans telling you. And I heard plenty of. I just talked to a brother not too long ago, while I was when we was at camp. You know, he said he had went to Africa, you know, for a trip, and you know they hey they they hey they mistreated him there. Right? He like, dang, what's going on? Why they treat me like this? We, they they my brothers. They not they don't hey. They don't look at you as brothers because they understand that they we are not the same people. That's why they didn't have no problem selling you to the so-called white man. They didn't have no problem when he came in. I'm going to get a verse on that. When the so-called white man came to Africa looking for us, man, when we fled out of, uh, when we fled out of uh, Jerusalem in 70 AD, the so-called white man didn't have, I mean, my bad, the Africans didn't have no um well, they didn't have no problem with selling us or giving us, yeah, selling us to the so-called white man for guns and uh, wine and things like that. They didn't have no problem with doing that because they're looking at you like you an outsider. You don't fled into my land, so they're like, okay. They see that we different people. They see 
the culture that we got on, the swag that we're moving with, they see the way our women dress, right? Because most of these laws, these commandments we got from coming out of Egypt. So these commandments go, most of these commandments we got, the most high God is doing, so we won't follow the customs of the Egyptians. A lot of these things that the, and a lot of these commandments that the Lord told us not to do, the Egyptians were doing these things in Egypt. Right? It was a lot of homosexuality going on in Egypt. You can look these things up. Right? They, they mostly had shaved heads. They weren't growing their beards. That's what the Lord said, hey man, you can't be a homosexual. Hey, grow your beard out. Right? Don't, 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 don't mark it. Don't mark your flesh for the dead. That's what those, that's what they do. If you watch um Black Panther with Killmonger. He took his shirt off when he was finna fight uh, uh, Black Panther. He took his shirt off and he had all he had his, he had his skin marked from all the people he killed that war in, or at, at Afghanistan, wherever he went to war at. He marked his skin for all the people that he killed. They do that, man. Let me show you. I'm gonna show you that we just look. I want you to just look. The only reason people say that we're really African is because of our skin color, but we don't look. We don't look. Like you can tell, we are we are a different race of people. Like we just, we just don't we don't look the same. Let me get that. Let me get a picture. Like we don't we don't do stuff like this, man. You know what I'm saying? We don't do stuff like this. You see what I'm saying? That we don't we don't we don't really we don't we don't do stuff like this, man. Two different races of people. But yet we want to be African, but we won't, you ain't willing. A lot of our people want to be African, or say they're African, but they ain't trying to put no ring in their mouth like this. This African literally got her mouth, her lips over her baby's head. I'm, I want to pull that video up to show y'all this real quick. I'm going to show y'all something real quick. Look at this, man. Let me get this real quick. And it was a video, man. Um, hold on. Let me see where I can find it. I wonder where that video is. Is that video on YouTube, bro? It probably, it probably not. It was it. Nah, I seen it on YouTube. It was a video of basically African. Um, they had. It was a little a a African boy. He had his head under a horse while he was peeing. He was washing his hair with the horse pee. You know, I can't find it, but but yeah, man. And it was, it's this movie. Um, I, I know it's by Wesley Snipes, but I can't remember what the movie is called. Hold on, let me see if I can. I know. I think I might have posted it. Uh, maybe I didn't, but um. It's a Wesley it's a Wesley Snipe movie for sure. Um, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but you know it was a clip on there um, when basically Wesley Snipe and his homeboy was talking to these Africans. Oh, let me see if I can get that thing. Let me see. If I might. If I, I don't know if I posted it. I might have did. Let me see. On my other. I think I might have did. Nah, I thought I did. I guess I did. Hold up. I thought I posted it. I might have didn't, though. Dang, I thought I posted it. It was basically a video. I know it's on my other phone, for sure. It was basically a video of the... Um, dang, man. Dang, I thought I posted that video. I know I, man, it was basically a Wesley Snipe, um, I don't know what the movie called, 
but it was talking to some Africans, right? And then I think he was trying to do business with the Africans or something like that. And brothers and sisters may probably know what that movie is, but I don't know what movie it is. But Wesley Snipes, what they were basically doing was trying to do business with the Africans. And the Africans were like, nah, nah, we can't do it. And you're like, Akata, Akata. And then Wesley Snipes was like, Akata, what is this Akata? What are they talking about? And then the dude basically said, Akata, that means uh, cotton, American cotton picker. And they start, you know, Wesley Snipes. Punched him or headbutted him or something. Let me see if I can find that clip, man. Let me see if I can find. Oh, here you go right here. Here you go right here. Here you go right here. It's called Sugar Hill. It's called Sugar Hill. Um, fair use, fair use. I don't own. I don't own. Um, none of this video. You know, fair use. I don't own this video. But let me show you. Let me show y'all this. It's like this, this. Dang. I don't want to hold up. This how you know that we the, this how you know that we not the same people right here. Hold up. They put it in it's another it's on it's a it's a clip on Meet the Browns too, where Michael Blackston was like, um when it when they was tied up, it was him and what that is it him and the other dude and I forgot he a comedian. But he was tied up on um, Meet the Blacks, and KKK was in there, and he was like, you know. Uh, so he basically said he basically said that his people sold our people in slavery. If you watch that movie again, Meet, uh, Meet the Blacks, that scene where they tied up, man, the KKK coming there. Michael Blackson was like, um, please, white man. He said something about, um, I don't really like these niggas. You know, my, my, my great-grandfather sold these niggas to y'all. That's what Michael Blackson said on that movie, um, Meet the Blacks, man. So y'all go back and watch that. Y'all catch that part what I'm talking about. I actually called it and I watched. I'm like, whoa. They put it in our face that we're not the same people. But y'all check this clip out. Hold on. Watch this. Check this out. Excuse the language, excuse the language. Check this out. See that? See that? He said, "If we the same people, why he said, why if they if, if they people was in slavery picking cotton, why he pointing that out? Why he be like a kata? A kata just means um cotton picker. They call it. They call us that all the time. You know, over there, Africa, even Africans over here, they would be like a kata. If you ever hear them call you a kata, they calling you a cotton picker. So why did he call? Why did the Africans call so called African American a kata? If we was in slavery together, picking cotton. We all we both the same people. They um, they know, they know that we are not the same people. It's it's simple. 
It's simple. Africans was not selling Africans into slavery. They were, You were not going to sell your own people into slavery. Africans, which is a dark race of people, were selling another dark race of people, which are the Israelites, into slavery. They sold us to the white man. Simple. We weren't selling each other, man. Let me get this right quick. Slave, the slave trade in the Bible right here. Here go the slave trade in the Bible right here as, as we speak. Let me get that verse in Joel. Slave trade in the Bible right here as we speak. Mighty, mighty prophet Joel. Let's see, let's see what happened in the book of Joel. Did I pass Joel? No. Joel 3. I'm going to start at verse 1. Hold up. Well, let me see if do what I want. Hold on, let me start. Let me show you who this is talking about in context. Um, Joel chapter, I know it's talking about Tyre and Zidon. Um, let me see. Yeah, it finished. It's finished. Show you. Joel 3 and 1. For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them. Therefore, my people and for my heritage, Israel, who they have scattered among the nations and part of my land. So, this is talking about Tyre and Zidon. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold up. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people. So like it. <clears throat> hold up, hold up. For heart, um, they have, my bad. And I will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and part of my land. So we know we were scattered among all these different nations and still in today's time, we are still um, scattered among all these different nations. We all around the world. Everywhere you go, any country you go to, we're going to be there. And we scatter across the four corners of the earth. Verse 3. And they have cast lots for my people. Talking about Tyre and Zidon. Um, they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for an harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. Yeah, and what have you to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon? Those are African, those are Africans. Tyre and Zidon, those are Africans. Right? And all the coast of uh, Palestine, will you render me a recompense? And if you recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? Because ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians, that ye might remove them far from their border. So the Bible just said, Tyre and Zidon, you sold Judah and Jerusalem to the Grecians. So what happened during the transatlantic slave trade? The Africans, so-called Africans, sold us, Judah, mainly us was getting sold, Judah, the so-called Negroes, we got sold into the Grecians, the so-called white men. That's the slave trade right there in the Bible. That's a slave trade right there in the Bible. So a lot of our people want to be Egyptian so bad or want to be, you know, claim to be African. But these are the same people that had your people in slavery. They literally put your people in slavery and sold you. They were literally selling you. It said, it say, verse 3 again, they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for a harlot. So they was, they was giving, they was giving boy, they was giving a boy for a harlot. And sold a girl for wine. So they literally sold our people. They was literally selling our, 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 our daughters and sisters for wine. So they sold the white, they sold our they sold us to the white man and they got wine in return. Basically, like, you get hey, you I give you this uh, Israelite girl if you give me a bottle of wine. They were selling us like that. They was, you know, having they was uh uh selling our boys as well, the harlots. And so they grow from wine that they might drink. So that, that's a slave trade in the Bible, man. It showed you, um, it showed you doing in the Bible, um, the slave trade, man. 
And you know, you got the Babylon, the Timbuktu, we talk about the so-called black Jews. We are the um the, the real Jews according to the Bible, man. These, I, not, a lot of these Africans, I want to find that video. Uh, let me see if I um, can find that video real quick. It's an older video, though. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it. It's an old video. Like I seen this when I first coming to the truth, man. Uh, the brother was basically... Dang, I can't find that video. So lucky, y'all, man. It's an older video though of a, a brother basically saying, I "Was talking to a it was an Israelite brother. No, I think from IUIC. I'm trying to look it up. He basically told him, you know, what I'm saying that they get taught over there in Africa that, you know, we not the same people. Dang, what that? Dang, man. Let me see if I can um Can't find that guy. Can't find I ain't seen that video. They probably tried to take that video down. But yeah, it's a, it was a I probably can show you that Meet the Blacks um, saying when um, bro was like, you know, when bro say, you know, um, my great grandfather gave these niggas to y'all or sold them. So let me see, let me see if I can get that. Let me see if I can show it to y'all, man. I want to find these clips just to show you. Um, They probably ain't even got the whole clip on it. Yeah, let me show you. Let me show it to y'all what he said. He said it. You know, basically saying we're not the same people. They know that. They put it in movies. They know. Check this out. Fair use. Fair use. Check this out. See, listen, 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 listen. I want y'all to listen to this. Listen. Listen. I got a chair right here. Listen. For your friend, Mr. Carl Blacks. I want to listen to this. I got a chair right here. Waiting for your friend, Mr. Carl Blacks. See, you heard that? Y'all, I'm 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 gonna replay it. I want y'all to listen what you, what they said. My great grandfather sold them to y'all, so he basically he's saying like, "Hey, I put him in. I, we, you know, we work together. That's why he said I'll work for you right now. Like I, 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 I help you out. We can kill this. He said we, I, we can kill this nigga together. 
And he said, my great grandfather, how you think they got over here? My great grandfather sold, uh, he was talking about that, sold them to y'all. So they know, they put in the movies and things like that, but they know the truth. They understand that, you know, that we're not the same people. They understand that, you know, only ones that don't know is us. We don't know the truth. We thinking, you know, we thinking we African. Not even, no, if we, why they ain't come and save us? If we was Africans, why they ain't, if, if, we, if we they people, why they ain't come over here and save us yet? You know, why they, why they, why they ain't coming over here to save us? Because we're not the same people. They look at us just like how they look at everybody else. Different people, different culture, all that. Um... Let me see. Let me get this verse right here. Christ actually called a Canaanite woman, which is a so-called African woman, a dog in the book of Matthew chapter 15 and verse 22. And behold, a Canaanite, my bad, behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away. But she cried after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not meat to cast the children's bread a bad. He said, it's not meat to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. So Yahweh Shah, who the world called Jesus Christ, he just called this Canaanite woman, which is a so-called African woman, a dog. And let's see what she said. Verse 27, and she said, truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which is fallen from the, their master's table. So she basically is like, true, I am a dog, okay, true. You know, but just give me a little crumb. Just heal my daughter. Please just help me out and just give me a little crumb. That's best. So she knew. They knew, you know what I'm saying? The Canaanite woman, she knew that she wasn't on the level as the Israelites. She knew that. She knew they wasn't the same people. She knew that she was below. That's why she said truth, you know, when Yahweh Shai basically said she was a dog. So we have to we have to truly understand this and get into this thing and realize, you know, that... um. That we are not the same people. That's why history begins so confused and we kind of lose understanding. And we, you know, in the school system of history, they basically just teach us anything. So we just hearing this and running with it, but we don't we're not truly thinking, like, you know what I'm saying? You know, we say we're African, but it's 54 countries in Africa. Um, so which one do we truly come from? We don't really know these things. So that's why it's good to um look into our history, man. And see, and like I said. And like I said, it's a lot of it's a lot of Israelites still in Africa. I'm not saying everybody. I'm not saying every person, every so-called black person with melanin in their skin. I'm not saying that they all Africans that's in that's living Africa. I'm not saying that because the scriptures say in James one and one, who is going to be scattered, you know, around the four corners of the earth. So we, it's a lot of our people that's still in Africa right now. Matter of fact, it's a lot of our people that's in Africa right now that's still practicing the customs of the of the law. Or the Bible, keeping the Sabbath day, wearing fringes, not eating pork. You know, it's a lot of African tribes that's th that's keeping the commandments because you know some of us haven't that haven't left. They were stay, they were stuck there, or they, or they might have went back to Africa and started keeping the commandments. So it's a lot of our people still in Africa. I'm just talking about the difference between, you know, a African African bloodline African. You can tell the difference between them, and you can tell the difference between you know us. It's a fact. Africans ain't Africans ain't around here winning all these awards, getting all these achievements. Africans ain't doing the stuff that we doing, man. Zephaniah two and twelve. Ye Ethiopians, also ye shall be slain by my sword. So the Bible said Ethiopians, which are African tribe. The Bible said, you know, a hey, bloodline Ethiopians. If you are, if you had. Ethiopian, you know, you put our people into slavery. The Bible said, you shall be slain by my sword. So a lot of the Ethiopians, you know, we that's what I'm saying. We got we got really to get into this Bible, man, because 
it shows you that we, we, we are completely different people because the Ethiopians, the Bible said, hey, man, I'm, I'm going to slay y'all by my sword. You know, y'all get cut by this sword. So that's just, you know, proof, you know, that, you know, the Africans, they get they also get a different judgment than we get because the Israelites, you know, we promised, we made a covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know, we're going to get our own, we're going to get our own blessings, Lord willing, real soon with the, our promises that the Most High God bless us with. You know, the Africans, you know, the Bible said when I just read that, I just read it on, um, let me get it, let me get it, let me get this. So, you know, Ham was cursed. You know, Ham was cursed because he looked at his dad's nakedness. If brothers and sisters read the story, you know, going into Noah, Ham got cursed because he uncovered his, well, he was basically, he seen his dad naked and he went to go get, he was laughing basically, went to go get his brothers to make a mockery out of him instead of trying to cover his dad nakedness up. Nakedness up. So the Most High God, um, Cursed Ham. He cursed him. Ham was the people that Shem didn't get. Ham got cursed. So that's why I just read this. Um Genesis 9 26. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. So we know Canaan, when it's all said and done, the Africans in the kingdom of heaven, they're gonna be our servants and handmaids. Thus says the Lord. You know, this this is gonna be fulfilled. They're gonna be our service and handmaids to Shem, which are, you know, we come we are Shem. We come from Shem. They come from Ham. You know, we are the children of Israel. They're the children of um of, of Ham. Or the children, yeah. The, they come from the children of Ham, and we're the children of Shem, they're the children of Ham. So, um I wanna see if it's something else. That's probably everyone that really gonna be a long video. And brothers and sisters, definitely look into this, man. Look into, um, uh, your history. Hold on, let me see something else. Real quick, let me see if I can get this. Now, I want y'all to listen to what this brother said. Now, he kind of used some, um, he kind of used some, you know, kind of dirty language. But, you know, just listen to what he say because Char, what is his name, Charleston White? Sometimes he be out, he, he be out of pocket. Sometimes he be saying some on point stuff. Besides what he said at the end of the video, you know, he kind of had to throw this in the end of it. Besides what he said at the end, you know, the whole thing was, um, was accurate. Basically, he was going into it about the Africans, so... No, they they know, bro. They know that um, you know, we are, that we know we, that we are different people, man. So my bad. So like I was looking at something, trying to find this other video. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna play this real quick. So listen what he say. You know, excuse the language, man. But listen what he say. I ain't built no ship. Came back over and rescued one nigga since we left from Africa. Yeah, and Africans don't like us. Yeah, nigga, Africans don't fuck with us. They don't like us. And they stink. Yeah, and some stinky people. Yeah, nigga, fuck Africans. Yeah, they, ain't, they ain't our people. We niggas. Slaves. The, the, the descendants of slaves. They would never call them niggas. The third group of Africans, only one generation. Now, the third group came. They wasn't born into this shit. Me and your people were born into this, homie. They were born slaves. They birth certificates say nigga. They was born in Africa. They are not us. They know what tribe they come from. They had a language. Once they broke them from the language and we was born, we was born in these conditions. We ain't no Africans. We ain't no Hebrew. We nigga. Bottom line. Jay, y'all always got to say something. See, see. But y'all understand what he was saying. Y'all, and I don't own copyright to the son that was playing in the background of that video. But y'all understand what he was trying to say. You know, he, he went off. But you understand he was, what he was saying. What he was saying before was on point besides, you know, we in Hebrew. But other than that, everything he said was on point, you know. No folks didn't come over here on no ships. 
they did not still they did not come over here. No, they would tell you that if you ask an African, a, a real African, they would tell you they did not come over here on those ships. So we came over here on ships, and they didn't. That press proof right there. That's proof right there that we are not the same people that they sold us to the so-called white man. That was the slave trade right there. Africans was not selling Africans. Africans were selling Hebrew Israelites to the so-called white man. That's the slave trade that the school system not going to tell you about. But we just got it in the Bible. We just showed it in the Bible in Joel 3 and 1 through 6. How Tyre and Zidon, which are Africans, sold Judah and Jerusalem to the Grecians, which is in that, in that uh, context, the so-called white man. So that's the slave trade in the Bible right there as we speak. So you so-called African-Americans, you know what I'm saying? We are not African. We are, I repeat, we are not African. So we got to stop, you know, going around here saying, you know, that we African, but we don't keep none of the customs that those people in Africa do. So how we truly say we African. We ain't, we, we not, like I said, we not finna, we not finna do this right here. We not finna get no big old, we not finna get no big old ring in our mouth. We not finna get, um, we not finna do this right here. We not finna do this right here. Oh, let me get a pick. Why you don't see none of our people doing this? If we Africans, why we ain't doing what they do over there? You feel what I'm saying? Why we ain't, why we got a totally completely different culture as Africans? If we the, you know, we the people that we the uh we the people. We, who willing to do this? If we Africans get cuts and stuff on their face like this, they come on. That go that hurt. So you know what I'm saying, who who willing to do this, man? Who will who who really who really willing to 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 keep these customs as these Africans doing, man? Look at it. Who, who really willing to do this, though, bro? You know what I'm saying? So, low when this video was edifying, man. Full up. Full up. See, you got Israelite. Dude, look at, just look at the two. Look at, look at them. Completely different people. Just look. Just, I want y'all to just look, man. Completely different people. Completely different. Two different people. You can tell. Look at this. Look at this right here. Hold up. They have this. One probably about 96 years before the flood. That's the video. Look at it right here. Two different races of people. Look at that. Two, look at those two different people, man. You know, so. Lord willing, this was edifying video to brothers and sisters, man. You know, just to get into um, a little lesson. Lord willing, I probably can do a part two. You know, get more pictures, get more history on where they come from you know where we come from and um talk about that you know next part two you know, so with that i'm gonna give all honor and glory to you how about shima was shy i want to say shalom meaning peace if brothers and sisters don't know shalom or shalom just means peace you know so um shalom to the 12 man 12 tribes of israel scattered abroad you know lord willing um i'll be back on here soon shalom